here. So after we get the box mounted and go through inside our outdoor rated conduit, poke through, we're able to wire up our economizer that's connected to an isolation transformer. Gets wired up to a green purple with three or a purple three conductor. Red going to hot side, black going to common with a jumper into the negative side of our adapter card. White goes to the positive from the green three. And we power it up from the transformer. We cap off the white two conductor and the purple two conductor that are not being used. White's for the power exhaust and the purple two is for the floating economizer actuator. Our outside air stick through and secure in the outside air hood wire up to our orange wire we have our co2 and return wire hanging in the duct sensor return sensor and co2 for that we have our co2 wired up red to red brown to green black to black and the black from our sensor is also in there so the three blacks go together and the red from our sensor with the white and that just hangs inside the return then we have our mixed air sensor the brown two conductor so we secure along the rack making sure we still allow the filters to be retrieved then we're able to run the rest of the wires up into the raceway that runs along the unit and then we'll pop out right here for our drive. So we can open that up real fast too. Kind of did that already. Our drive that has the purple four conductor landed onto it. And then the power motor side on the right line side on the left. Then we have our pink two conductor which goes into the supply which feeds down into the supply compartment. You can go over. We have that secured high above the heat exchanger to avoid melting from the heat of the heat exchanger. Down and secured and hanging about two feet in the supply so we're in the airstream instead of picking up the heat from the heat exchanger. And the rest of our wires continue on the raceway to our electrical. They get dumped off right here. We have our watt node which we use a comm wire, our blue two conductor which has black and white. Black goes to A pos A minus, white goes to B positive. Then we wire up our CTs, which measure the amps, and then we run voltage wires that go on right where the line voltage is coming into the unit. Voltage goes on this right side, and make sure we connect the right, keep the same continuity with the leads. And then we, with our six, eight conductor white we cut into the thermostat wires where their existing calls are coming from we make sure that we double up our fan with the occupied and then we land our low voltage controls onto the rtm board and then we're able to wire up the service switch with our yellow two conductor we make sure we leave a left slack in there so that we can pull it out and use it or set it anywhere that we'd like I think that should be everything, if I'm correct. Inside of our box, we'll keep our wiring diagram, see if we can see all those things. Manual for the drive, as well as a manual for our digital operator. digital operator itself. And an ethernet to be able to connect the digital operator to the drive. All this 
back in here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, we'll put that in our enclosure. Plug this so that we wouldn't receive their signals until we wanted to. 